What is good, you guys? NWA here, Nurse Pat. Man, it has been a minute. Missed y'all. Hope you feel the same way. No. Dang. Anyways, we are about to go to the Philippines and Bali. I'm gonna be going with my family, and this time, my older brother Jevin and his girlfriend are able to join us. Uh, so I'm gonna vlog this. Maybe have it a two-part series with the Philippines and Bali. Who knows? Depends on how much footage I get. I'm excited because I bought a drone and I've been practicing with it. Um, hit a tree already, so <laughs> that's not good. But anyways, we'll see what's up with that. Um, just worked out today, got things ready. Hopefully we make it to the airport on time. You already know how it is with Filipino time. Family might be lagging. But I'm gonna be taking them to the airport lounges, the priority lounges, because thankfully I got a travel card now. And I just wanted to have them experience it with all the free food, the drinks, alcohol, just better seating and all that. Uh, so hopefully we make it on time. Unfortunately, our gate at SFO wasn't at a terminal with the lounge and we were short on time. And off we go to a 10-ish hour flight to our layover in Korea. Actually, my first time watching Barbie, I thought it was pretty good. Yo, I was impressed with these freebies at Asiana Airlines and we in peasant class. Even the meals, look at that. Bibimbap to the top, miso soup, rice, red wine, say less. Didn't get to explore much in the Korea airport since the layover was pretty short. But at least we got to try these Korean corn dogs that are pretty fire. Dunkin Donuts out here had way more selections out here too. Literally, US sucks. <laughs> All right, so we finally out here in the Philippines, as you can see from the paroles and our black buy boxes. We first had some home cooked food at my relative's house and we spent the night there. This was homemade yema, a milk and sugar candy. So good. Next day, we were at my parents' house that they've been building. Look at all those chickens. Look at all those chickens. This one's thick. That's a big boy. So we are at the house my parents bought right now. Could show you around a little bit. Various fruit trees like mango. There's jackfruit over there. It is a work in progress. Unfortunately, um, we thought we were going to be able to sleep here, but there's still a lot of work to be done. They're painting and whatnot, so it's not a good idea. It still smells like fresh paint, and there's still some things that need to be fixed first. They bought this like earlier in the year in May, so they've just been gradually working up on it. Ooh, this is a jackfruit. Take a look inside. It's supposed to be seven bedrooms. <laughs> Angelica. Out there dancing. Where's that coming from? There's a speaker in the ceiling. In the chandelier. Innovative. Supposedly this is really expensive wood that's forbidden wood. Endangered wood. <laughs> yeah, lots of work to be done. trying to get a steadier shot. How do you turn that on? I don't even know where the speakers are. 
Yeah, if you had like a Bluetooth or at least an aux cord. Mm -hmm. Stars. This is a master work in progress. Yeah, they still need to hardwire that AC there. This is a beautiful terrace. You have a nice view of the fish pond lake over there. I just did a drone shot of this house that looked really nice. I'll show you guys that. Here I'm showing you a little aerial view of the construction. Sorry I'm not quite smooth with circling around with the drone yet, but I am practicing. <laughs> Beautiful shrimp and fish ponds over here. We don't own them, but my mom was debating on buying some of them. Oh, it got inside. Went to Koreatown with some cousins for some Korean barbecue. I think I paid like 12 bucks per person, which was insane. Seafood is always caught fresh from the ponds. Look at these gigantic shrimp. Them things big. A little calamansi is all I need. Gotta go Kamayan style with these. So good. This is me struggling here how to open and eat this crab. Okay. About to hit up the gym with my little cousin Francis. He's only 17 and put in that work. Let's go, Francis. Right there. This gym honestly had what I needed to get a decent upper body workout in. Entrance fee is like a dollar. Don't smoke you guys. <laughs> So we left at midnight and had a grueling 8 hour drive up north to Ilocos. We visited the oldest church out there and went to mass. Very beautiful and divine inside. Then we drove to Pagudpun, Saud Beach. Alright, so we are now at Saud Beach Resort, which is in Ilocos Norte. Um, it was low key a struggle to get out here. It was like an 8 ish hour drive from Pampanga. Um, and we left like at midnight, so we basically just slept in the car, been dead all day. Um, but it's real nice out here. Um, as you can see, the waters are nice and clear, beautiful color, white sands. Um, they call it the, the Barakai of the North or something like that. Um, so we're going to be relaxing out here for two nights, just enjoying the calm water, relaxing. We're here with a lot of family. Um, so we'll be treating them out as well. Just me practicing some more drone shots here. I asked my mom to just chill and pose on that hammock. I did swim and snorkel on the beach earlier, but I accidentally deleted that footage, which is fine. I mean, I guess I, I didn't really see any fish anyways. It was just more so like a, a nice beach, like the water was clear. Um, it was a little slightly cold, but you got used to it. Hopefully you can hear me okay, it is pretty windy out here, but there are coconut trees everywhere. And I was able to pick up a 
a young coconut, it was pretty big. And I feel like it should still be good with the juice and the meat. So I swooped it. Don't have anything to open it up just yet, so I just popped it in the fridge for now. Is anybody looking? Every time we ate, we went to these little huts with the good view of the beach and the water. Puyadara <laughs> made something I've had for the first time, which is basically like a, a Filipino ceviche or poke fire. <laughs> what do you call this one, Kuya? What do you call this one? Kilawin. What is it? Oh, this one. Yeah. Kilawin? Kilawin. Fresh. So it's like a it's yellowfin tuna, fresh, cooked with vinegar, calamansi. It's supposed to be a palutan, which is food. Kind of reminds me of poke. Wow, it's good. Good. Okay? Mm hmm. Good. Well, we have been here already. Can't go wrong with the red horse. It was super relaxing, just you know, looking at the beach, get some fresh air with my morning coffee. My little bro doing his thing, working on his homework while vacationing. I ended up doing a small leg workout on the beach. I've never worked out on the beach before, so I figured I might as well do it here since you know it's it's way more secluded than your usual beach. Didn't want help <laughs> seeing me do some weird stuff. Had to get creative as possible with different exercises. Found this random ass log, <laughs> so I figured I could use it. Don't try this at home. But honestly, this was kind of fun and different. Plus, I got to put the calories to use. Back on the road, we made a few stops before arriving to Vegan City. This area they are calling Long Bridge. <laughs> I, I, I feel like it has a different name, but they just called it Long Bridge. Took the opportunity to fly my drone. Yeah, it, was, it, was, it was great seeing my relatives experience my drone because it's pretty rare and a lot of them it's, it's their first time seeing one uh, so I was just amazed by it. This stop is known for the windmills. It was the first time seeing giant windmills on a beach. Next stop was a lighthouse museum. The lighthouse was a lot bigger than I expected. Apparently some Provinciano scenes were filmed here if you watch Filipino shows. If you like Coco Martin, a lot of my relatives say that I look like him. I don't really think so. You tell me. <laughs> He definitely got like a little uh, suave baby face going on. I don't know if I got that. Bro, look at this Tokyo Drift tricycle. Ilocos empanadas are different from usual. So, I wanted to try these. 
Mm, honestly, it was just I. Right. Same with the quick quick, unfortunately. Finally arrived to Vegan City, which is known for the Spanish colonial style architecture. Apparently, there are a lot of Provinciano scenes here as well. Four dollar horse rides around the city, can't go wrong with that. This is basically a place for shopping and restaurants and just the overall vibes of the architecture. My family basically took up all the rooms in this small family-run hotel. Very homey vibes with the breakfast. Next stop was Paloarte Zoo, which I really enjoyed. My trip was finally officially complete with this Tahoe. Like I really <laughs> wanted to make sure I had some Taho from the Taho man from this trip. I <laughs> like some delicious beta carrots here. Oh, oh look at that tongue. Who are you calling a cootie queen, you lint liquor? That boy from Toys R Us. But you got $3 solo picks with my boy Mufasa. Honestly, I wasn't going to do it, and I thought it was a terrible idea, in which it, it still was, <laughs> but I saw a bunch of kids doing it, and my cousins were down, so I was like, oh, hell no, I, I, I ain't no <laughs> so <laughs> I, I have to do it now. Help me! Oh my god, this drink was amazing. Fresh sugar cane, calamansi, and your cult. Highly recommend. Yeah. <laughs> Some of my patient's toes look just like that. Stopped by this interesting uh, little stone art museum by a Korean artist. No idea why there's a bunch of stone chodes out here. <laughs> My man Wildin. So random. Last stop before going back was La Union, a city known for the beaches and surfing. Rentals and lessons were super cheap. In my next video for part 2, we do come back here in La Union and I get to finally try surfing the first time. So. Stick around for that. Luckily, I was able to catch this beautiful orange sunset. We decided to eat dinner here as well. On our way to the Palenque wet market for food and groceries. Basically was getting food to prepare dinner for when my older brother Jevin and his girlfriend Nicole arrived from the Philippines. Also we had a few, few instances uh, with some children, uh, children beggars. They were pretty, uh, pretty aggressive, not gonna lie. So that was interesting. I think me and my little sister just really stuck out. Um, Try not to, but you know, I, I think they could just smell and know that you're 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 a tourist, you're a bollock buying. I, I wasn't even saying nothing, but you know, they just they just know. Welcome to Philippines. Hey. Alright, so I figured this is where I should cut part one of the Philippines vlog. Part two, we visit Baguio, La Union, and Mount Pinatulo. So stay tuned. If you managed to get this far, thanks for watching the video. 
And as always, stay safe, stay humble. I'm out.